Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which is going to be a weekend reading vlog. So I do have a little TBR for this weekend and some fun things other than reading planned for this weekend. So I'm going to take you along with me. I'm very excited for all the things that we've got going on, mostly just tomorrow, but we might be doing some things tonight in preparation for tomorrow. So first of all, let's talk about the few books that I have planned to read this weekend. I'm currently in the middle of The Hating Game for Family Book Club. I'm on page 129 and I have to read to page like 237. I don't know. I'll have to double Double check on where exactly I'm supposed to stop but I do need to read like a good section of this so I'm going to read that and then also this has been sitting on my shelves as a current read for a very long time that's local woman missing and I'm on page 163 of this one and I just like put it down right before I like moved and all that kind of stuff happened so like I just put it down and hadn't picked it up in a very long time. So I think one of my goals for this weekend is to finish this. I feel like I kind of remember like enough of what I've already read of this. I might need to refresh my memory a little bit, but for the most part, I think I'm fine to just kind of jump back in where I left off. And then also I wanted to read those Ellie Hazelwood novellas, Stuck With You, Under One Roof, and Below Zero. And I want to maybe read all of them, but that's pretty much the TBR. Tomorrow, we're going to a Renaissance fair. We got tickets to go tomorrow. It's like happening this whole weekend but we got tickets for tomorrow which is saturday and the event goes from like 10 a.m till 10 p.m and so i'm not sure what time we're planning to go but it's like an all-day thing and so we're just gonna like get there whenever we get there riley's super excited about it he's super into that stuff and i was like yeah sure that'd be fun i think tonight we might go to a spirit halloween or like party city or something to find something to wear like a cute little renaissance themed costume because i feel like we would be a little awkward showing up in normal clothes i mean i'm sure there's gonna be plenty of people in normal clothes but it's also just gonna more fun to like dress up so i think we might try and go find something tonight and i will obviously take you with and show you what we end up getting if we do get something i also was going to show you the outfit i'm wearing today this tank top is new i got it for my birthday i'm wearing it with my little zebra skirt i also for jewelry have Anna Luisa earrings on which i absolutely love i got three different pieces from them i used to have three holes but i only have these two i've literally been looking for the perfect huggy earrings like this and i love that this one's like doubled so it looks like i have three piercings kind of but this second one is like my absolute favorite because it's like the perfect little huggy that i've been looking for for such a long time so happy that i was able to find like the perfect one and with anna luisa they're super high quality pieces but still very affordable so i love that these are the other earrings that i got that have like a little pearl dangly these are absolutely adorable too so i just kind of like mix and match all three of these they are literally perfect to elevate any outfit they just make you feel so elegant and i also love that they all come in this carbon neutral packaging it's definitely very important that they are caring about the planet and shipping it in sustainable packaging so yeah these are my first few pieces from anna luisa and i definitely can't wait to get more i'll try some of their necklaces and maybe even their rings it's all just so beautiful i do have a code that gives you 10 percent off sydney page books 10 i will have it in the description box for you to check out
everyone happy sunday i look exhausted i'm just taking it for a quick update the renaissance fair yesterday was super fun we both had a great time i did end up getting the perfect costume piece for my outfit yesterday at spirit halloween they had that corset that was like near the steampunk section i just like put that over one of my sheer long sleeves that i already owned and then with my flowy pants i feel like it was the perfect outfit just to like kind of be casual but also look like i'm dressed up for the occasion and we had a, just a fun time walking around and looking at all the vendors got some food i really wanted to get a turkey leg but the line for the turkey legs was so long so i had to settle for chicken tenders and fries but i had like this really cute idea for my instagram like i wanted to take a picture of me eating a turkey leg but instead i just took a picture of me eating chicken fingers and fries but it was still really fun riley got a new sword that he really wanted it's like a lord of the rings sword they had a ton of them there and like a bunch of other just really cool stuff in general we'll probably go back next year because it was pretty cool and maybe i'll get a turkey like that time there were a lot more people dressed up than i expected i mean like i knew there was gonna be plenty of people like nerding out and stuff because like that was the whole point so it was kind of like cool to be there and just like in a place with a bunch of people just with similar interests it was kind of like a nerdy coachella vibe because there was people camping out and a bunch of different villages for people to stay like for the whole weekend so we just had the day pass and we were only there for like maybe two and a half hours because it was pretty hot it felt like we were there like for a good amount of time could have stayed longer if like there were more places to sit in the shade it was pretty crowded but it was a good day so we did that and then came home and just like relaxed i ended up going to target and getting like groceries and things for the week at target i brought my headphones to like listen to my audiobook while i was shopping because i went by myself so i just like popped my headphones on and i finished reading the portion of the hayden game that i needed to read i'm caught up on that for family book club this week i stopped at page 230 which is chapter 19 so yeah like the hating game is fine i don't feel like the writing is doing anything special it doesn't really have like a funny aspect that i enjoy for romances like i don't feel like there's enough internal dialogue from our female protagonist basically it's just about lucy and joshua who work in the same office and they're both up for the same promotion obviously like it's a hate to love i don't really know how i feel about it it's just kind of like three star average you know but today I did start Stuck With You and I'm already 58% of the way through this one and I'm really loving it. I'm like devouring it and it's super short obviously so like I'm gonna finish it right after I finish this clip. It's super cute. Like I love the characters in this one. We're following Sadie and what's the guy's name? Eric. Sadie and Eric and they are absolutely adorable and I love forced proximity tropes so they're stuck in this elevator together on like a Tuesday night or Wednesday night like super late it's like 11 p.m. they get stuck in this elevator together they've known each other for like three weeks and they've already hooked up he does something to her that makes her really upset so she hates him at this point but you don't really know what it is that he did so you're getting flashbacks of like three weeks before and then the present when they're stuck in the elevator so like three weeks before they meet each other they are aware of each other's presence because they also work in the same building it's also kind of like a office romance kind of they are both engineers start talking get to know each other find out they have a lot of similar interests they both really love soccer they're both really high up in their education they're just like super cute and you can totally feel the chemistry and so then they do go out and like hook up and oh my gosh Allie Hazelwood is a mastermind with her writing like she writes really really well and I'm loving it that even just in this this book that's like less than 200 pages I think I mean I'm reading it on my phone so I'm not sure exactly how many pages there are just the way she's able to make you fall in love with these characters so fast and still provide so much backstory and details and chemistry and just like building up the story in general in such a short amount of time very very impressive 127 pages that's it 127 pages so I am, like I said, 58% uh, of the way through, already just tugging on my heartstrings. I can't wait to continue. So it's flying by, I'm taking me like less than two hours to read this. I'm excited to pick up the other ones. I have below zero on audio and then under one roof as a regular ebook. So I'm gonna read that one. I'll come back once I finish Stuck With You. At this point, it's already feeling like a five star. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna just blow it out of the water. It'll be interesting to see which of the three is gonna be my favorite. It's kind of why I wanted to read them all in the same weekend. So we're like 
we're out with this book. Like, I don't really want to talk about this book. Pretty underwhelming. But Ally Hazelwood is the real star of the show. finished stuck with you and i gave it five stars it is absolutely adorable i really really loved it i thought i would finish it and think oh i wish this was longer but i actually loved the length of it like i said earlier i think ali hazelwood did an amazing job at like summing it all up getting straight to the point doing a great job at like introducing the characters right away and like obviously yes it's just over 100 pages so like there's not going to be a huge plot there's not going to be a ton of character development but considering how short it is and what she was able to accomplish in that amount of pages i think is just far more impressive than stretching it out and making it at least 300 page book and incorporating more details into a plot that like i'm not even necessarily here for i think all romances should be just over 100 pages there's no reason for romance to be that long and that dragged out you know if it's like 300 or something pages so absolutely in love with this one i'm so excited to read the other two i hope they're just as good you know if not better but this one's already a five star so it's like can't complain you know i think ali hazelwood is becoming one of my favorite authors i mean i've only read these two books from her the love hypothesis and stuck with you but i'm planning to read the other two novellas that she's written and also love on the brain not in this vlog i won't be reading love on the brain but in october for the coffee bake book club i will be reading it so i think it was just perfect the only thing i will say is the actual story doesn't take place in the elevator that much so like stuck with you wasn't really entirely what the book was about which kind of bothers me a little bit just because i was so excited for the forced proximity and i don't feel like we read a lot about them actually being stuck together in the elevator so that's like my only critique about it i wish there would have been more tension between the two in the elevator and that it would have lasted a little bit longer and that like something you know pretty much the only thing i think the conflict was you know fine definitely good enough for just like the short bit that it was i don't know there's only so much you can do but i think ellie hazelwood did it perfectly i was reading some of the reviews on goodreads and a lot of people don't seem to love it as much as i did but i think it's people who kind of enjoy longer books or they did want it to be a little bit more fleshed out with like the plot and character development but that's not really anything that i'm looking for especially right now because romances are a little bit tough for me like with the hating game i'm definitely not feeling that one as much as i felt this one i think that's my thing like sometimes they're just way too long and sometimes they're just too boring and too many details that are so unnecessary i'm really glad that i decided to pick this one up and then i'm gonna probably read i don't know which one i'm gonna read next because under one roof i have as the ebook and below zero i have as an audiobook so i'm gonna try and read probably the ebook tonight like as i'm going to bed because it's already like 10 30 on sunday so i will be taking it into monday a little bit before i go to work and hopefully finish it before i have to go to work tomorrow but we shall see um the other update is that i finished local woman missing as well and i'm so glad that i finally finished this book because i have literally been reading this since april or may but i put it down for a long time so i just finally picked it up and was able to finish it very quickly i'm giving that four stars because i think it was pretty good like twisty dark thriller it got really a lot more dark than i was anticipating like in a good way i mean i like a good dark mysterious thriller so it definitely delivered in that way it's four stars because not just because i like took a break from it and picked it back up i'm sure that had a bit to do with why I felt confused but also I think there was just a lot of characters that you had to follow right out the gate like I remember that from when I first started reading it I really did enjoy the beginning of it like the opening part like part one was really gripping but then there's just like a lot of POV and time changes and stuff like that sometimes that's just a little bit difficult to keep track of the twists were really good just too many characters the writing was fantastic pretty like interesting where the story went i definitely was like playing it out in my head as like a movie so that's when you know the writing is good so yeah four stars for that one that's my update on those books i can't believe i'm making the progress that i'm making but 
I'm not gonna stop now. So I will probably talk to you tomorrow. Riley and I are gonna watch the latest episode of House of the Dragon. And then we're gonna get into bed. I'll read some of Under One Roof and then I'll update you tomorrow with what I end up reading and the progress that I've made. I just finished Below Zero. That one I'm giving three stars. I listened to that one on audio, but I'm giving it three stars because it was, first of all, kind of cringe, a, a little bit more cringe than I, I don't know. I wasn't expecting it to be cringy. So it was more like their relationship was like based around lust more than love. It felt like I didn't really like the female protagonist, Hannah, all that much. And Ian was okay also. But this one had a lot to do with NASA. Like I understand that that's the premise of these books. They're like steminist novellas and it's supposed to like heavily revolve around women in the science workplace and stuff. But this one felt like it was a little bit too sciencey for me. That's just like a personal preference. Nothing wrong with that, but it was just like not something I have a huge interest in. But the main thing was like the first interactions when they like first meet each other and Hannah's like trying to flirt and Ian is just like clueless. And the inner monologue of Hannah was just like not for me. I still loved like the pacing. I still loved how short it was. Also, I didn't realize that, well, I guess I, I did know that they were like a series because like they're the same characters. So the three girls are friends and then it follows like each of their love stories. I read number two first and then Below Zero is three. So I'm gonna go back and read the first one, which is Under One Roof. So like, I like that they're all friends. Like that's a cute dynamic. Below Zero was just like not my favorite. Like I like Stuck With You more. So we'll see how I feel about the first one, which follows Liam and Mara. I'm going to try and read that while I'm at work today. Started Below Zero this morning while I start, was doing dishes. I just popped the audiobook in and have been listening to it all morning. It only took me like two hours, which is really awesome. And also there's definitely similarities between the two books I have read already. And I think that the third one is going to be the same way. It's Tuesday now. I finished Under One Roof last night. I also put my bangs in a roller. So if they look a little crazy, that's why. I have a lot of thoughts about Under One Roof and just all three of them together. I wrote them all down. Like as I was reading, I wrote all of my thoughts and all my notes on my phone. So I wouldn't forget to like mention something. First things first, Under One Roof, definitely my least favorite of the three. I gave it three stars because it was fine, but it is my least favorite. It doesn't entirely bother me that much, but I think it would bother other people. The fact that all three of them are very, very similar, just in like their characters, the tropes that are used in order for there to be a conflict. You could line them all up and it'll literally just be like the same format. Also, like all the characters are the same. Every guy has the same traits and every girl is pretty much the same. She talks about how every guy doesn't smile. Like that's just him, he's so, quirky he doesn't smile but like all three of them don't so stuck with you had the best opening scenes also i loved their like croissant meat cute in the coffee shop it doesn't compare to the others like how you first see the two characters interacting together the writing's not very good at all in under one roof i was not interested in the story it was taking me a really long time to get through i fell asleep reading it at one point it just wasn't holding my attention at all and then also with the girls all being the same and there's just like one thing that like sticks out for each of them that gives them like their own personality trait. For Mara in Under One Roof, it's like her obsession with Cheez-Its. Sadie in Stuck With You, it's her love for soccer. And then for Hannah in Below Zero, it's her passion for NASA. And they're all hate to love with the conflict being some sort of miscommunication. You see it coming after the first one. When you see that like the second one's doing the same thing, you know the third one's gonna do the same thing. That's just like a little bit weird. I mean, they are a series, so like it could be weird, but it could not be weird at the same time. Just depends. I feel like it's a little weird. They're all like, girl thinks guy sucks for some reason, but then she finds out she just misunderstood something. And would you look at that? He's actually the most perfect man alive. So in Under One Roof, basically it's about Mara who inherits her old mentor's house, but it's only half the house. And she finds out the other half is owned by her mentor, Helena's nephew, who is Liam. Starts out pretty boring and the writing is definitely not as good. I didn't really like the reasoning why they ended up being roommates. It just felt really weird. Like it was all about Mara's 
old friend and mentor. I think overall was pretty bland. It could have been a little bit spicier. I feel like the forced proximity, living in the same house together, like that could have some really fun elements, but Ellie Hazelwood made it really like bland. Like it wasn't very good. Then in turn, if I don't like the characters, I'm definitely not going to like the smut. So I definitely skimmed that. So those are pretty much all my thoughts. Stuck With You is definitely my favorite. So I'm kind of glad I read that one first. That is my experience and thoughts on all of the little novellas by Miss Allie Hazelwood. I really liked the size of them. Not one of them took me longer than a day to read. So that's gonna wrap up this vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Also, don't forget to check out Ana Luisa Jewelry if you're interested. I will leave all the links and the info in the description. But don't forget to use my code SydneyPageBooks10 for 10% off your order. I highly recommend them if you wanna check them out. And I hope you guys all have a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.